Hi everybody, this is Candace with Stamping Pearls, and today I am doing a project with the Cricut Imagine, and I'm going to show you a project using the Nursery Tales, using the Nursery Tales um, cartridge, and for this project, I am going to use this super cute image, Butterfly Kisses. And I was trying to decide on if I wanted to make a card or um, a 3D project, but I decided to do a, um, a scrapbook layout. And so, please excuse my background mess. I'm still living in a hotel. They finally got work on my house, and it looks like I'll be back in my house within the next week or two. So I'll be super, super happy to have my craft room back. And that's the one good thing that I get to design my craft room now, the way I want it um, designed. Okay, so here is the interface of the Cricut Imagine. And your Cricut Imagine cartridge goes in on, let me go, on this side of your um, machine. And on the other side, I don't have one in there, but right here is where your original Cricut cartridge can go. And I'm going to do a future video demonstrating using one of your original Cricut cartridges on the Imagine. Okay, so here in a previous video, I believe we went over this, but you have your about, your settings, and your um, print and cut. Now I'm going to go into the settings really fast, because one of the first things that I want to do is I want to change my border preferences so that everybody can see okay and I'm going to choose custom here your default is going to be um, 0 .04 and so that's if you want it when you print out your image it comes with like a little background color and so when you print it out let me see I have a previous project here So when you print it out, it's going to come with this little border. And here, this is the um, border that comes with this little girl. And, um, or you could change the color if you want to change the color. Um, but if you don't want that border, what you're going to do is you're going to move this down to zero. So then I'm going to click apply. Now I'm going to go into my print and cut. And for this um, project, what we're going to do is, uh-oh, I lost my handbook. I just had it. Oh, well. Okay, but well, it's around here somewhere. Oh, I put it back in the, car, in the um, box. So as we said, we're going to use the um, Butterfly Kisses. And I believe, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an 8x8. Eight eight. Let's go back here. Um, scrapbook page. So now I'm going to go into my edits. Okay. Now, I do have a little girl. So I'm actually going to keep pink. But I think what I'm going to do is in keeping with the tradition of pink is let's see how this looks okay I just used the pattern background instead of just the plain solid color so I want to keep everything as is for this and so let's click apply Okay, and the one thing I like to do is just to see how big it's going to turn out on my mat. Because I want to make sure when I do my scrapbook page, that it's not... That I'm using a 8.5 by 11 sheet of cardstock. So I'm just going to bring this down. 
Okay, so that's going to be just a little bit too big. So what I'm going to do is click on my image, click edit. Okay, and I'm just going to bring this down just a little bit. Maybe it's a 3.2. Just because I just want to make sure that there's going to be enough space on the page for my um, daughter's picture. So I'm, I'll keep that. Now I'm going to hit back and I want to use this same image again. Because this time I want some little butterflies to go around on the page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit layers. I'm going to scroll over. And these little butterfly here. Now I can keep them the same color. Now here you can only flood fill. So if I wanted to just change the wing colors, I cannot do that unless I print my image. I print my image this way. Um, do another set of um, images and cut the wings off and layer it that way. Um, that would probably be like the only way that that can be done. I'm not going to do it here. But, let me see, let's just see, so everything, all the butterflies will be one color, but you, but you know what, I might just try that, so I want to undo, okay, so I'm going to, Leave that as it is. Click apply. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to backspace. I want this image. So now backspace, backspace, backspace. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it um, another set of butterflies in a different color. And then.